Hi, I'm Melissa Clark from the dining section, and I'm here to tell you about roasted fish. But not roasted fillets, and not roasted fish steaks. I'm talking about roasted whole fish. And if you've never made a roasted whole fish, I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how delicious. The great thing about a whole fish, compared to fillets or steaks, is that you get the whole thing. So when you buy the fish, you get the skin, you get the tail, you get the head, and all of this adds flavor. Oh, and you get the bones, and the bones add incredible flavor. So the question is, how do I know if I'm getting a fresh fish? This always comes up. Just look it in the eye. They should be clear, they should be bright, the gills should be pink, and the whole thing should just be very shiny and very sort of opalescent. And that's how you know if you're getting a fresh fish. If you can get close enough to give it a whiff, it should smell fresh like the sea, you know, not fishy. There are so many different ways you can flavor a whole fish. I mean, fish are just like blank canvases. They'll absorb whatever seasonings you feel like eating. So you think, what do I feel like eating tonight? Do I feel like something really pungent with scallions and ginger, soy sauce and sesame oil? Am I in the mood for Mexican food with chipotle chili, jalapeno, lime and cumin? Or maybe a classic Mediterranean combination, lemon, garlic, rosemary and olive oil. Or you can do absolutely nothing at all. I mean, a slick of olive oil, salt and pepper, put the fish on the pan, the pan in the oven, and you're done. It's so easy. So what are you gonna do? Maybe we should ask the fish. So what do you think, fishy? Which way should we go? Are you feeling like Mexican? Maybe something Mediterranean? I want the lemon, Mediterranean, Melissa. That's what I want. Well, then that's what we're gonna do. So what I've got here is a striped bass and an orata. They weigh about a pound, a pound and a half each, which is exactly the right size to feed one person. You can use any fish that's about that size. And so now this is the easy part. It's just getting the fish into the pan. So what I like to do, this is just plain extra virgin olive oil, not the good stuff. Put a little bit in your pan. This saves you having to use another plate. Take a brush, preferably one that could go in the dishwasher, so not a wooden one, and you're just painting your fish all over with olive oil, including the cavity, seasoning them, including the cavity, and then pepper. So once you've got them all nice and seasoned, and use a lot of salt and pepper because the fish can really take it, then you just wanna plop them right onto your baking pan. And then you're gonna add your seasonings, whatever you're using. In this case, our fish said Mediterranean, so we've got our lemon, our rosemary, and some sliced up garlic. Fish are so handy. They have this nice little cavity here. So you just stuff everything right into the cavity. And what happens when they bake is that all of these things heat up and they perfume the entire fish. So it's not just like the part around the cavity tastes like lemon and garlic and rosemary, the whole fish will. If it doesn't fit, just break it in half and tuck it right inside. So now I'm gonna set the oven to 450. Now I'm gonna pop them in the oven, and 15 minutes from now, I'm gonna be eating my dinner. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna test my fish to see if it's done. I'm just gonna take a fork, poke the little guy in his backbone, and what I'm looking for, I want a, a opaque flesh. I don't want it to look translucent. And you see how that's nice and opaque? It's a little bit flaky, but it's not falling apart. That's exactly what I want. So now I'm gonna serve the fish. And this is the messy part. I'm not gonna cleanly fillet this fish, move the whole fillet over to a plate and serve it like they do in fancy restaurants. I'm just not that good. I'm gonna do it the fast and sloppy way, but trust me, the fish tastes just as good this way. And you know, you're eating amongst friends, right? And I'm just gonna scrape the skin off. I don't like eating roasted fish skin. I only like fish skin when it's super crispy and fried. And then I'm just going to lift off the fish on to the plate. Again, we're not going for clean here, we're going for no bones. And you see how I'm just digging the fork into the flesh and scooping it onto the spoon. It's really easy. You know, you do have to tell people to watch out for bones because I really might miss one or two small ones, but for the most part, I'm avoiding them all. Now that I've got that, don't forget this little meat over here. This is the, called the collar, so succulent, so tasty. And then this is the great thing about a whole fish, which you do not ever have with a filet. The cheek is the just tastiest little morsel of fish. And you just want to scoop it right out. And you know what? You're the cook. You made this fish. Eat it in the kitchen. Nobody's going to notice if it's gone. There it is. The filet mignon of a roasted fish. Mm. It's really good. So I've got the top layer of fish off. I'm going to crack this. Just see how it breaks really easily and I'm just gonna lift up the skeleton. 
Goodbye skeleton, goodbye fish head. They come off together. And now hopefully the skin has stuck to the bottom of the roasting pan. If you notice, I didn't oil the roasting pan. This is why. I want the skin to stick so that I can just lift off the, the rest of the fish. So now I'm just gonna garnish this up to make it look a little more presentable. Here's a lemon wedge. I was able to get Meyer lemon, which is fabulous. I'm gonna use my best flaky sea salt because it's gonna add a crunch next to all that nice soft fish. Your best olive oil. Be generous with it because that's pretty much your sauce. And then just to add a little color onto the plate. So this is how you're gonna serve it to a dinner party. But if you're just with some really close friends, I'm gonna bring a lemon wedge to the table, some good salt in a bowl, a bottle of olive oil, give everybody a fork, and dig in. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. That's really good fish. <laughs> that was awesome.